Hello and welcome to you all and today we are going to start this particular video as a preface to resume our software design pattern series. I would like to start this particular video with a very simple question. What exactly is the difference between the software architecture and software design pattern? I have asked this question with multiple engineers on multiple experiences level but I found that they are tremendously confused between these two terminology. So let's start this video with a simple clarification. What is the difference between a software architecture and software design pattern? So software architecture basically represents that what are the components involved in your software system, how they are interacting with each other and how they will be scaled over the time. If we talk about the software design patterns, they are smaller level technical solutions for the repeated engineering problem. If I give you a very good analogy, then you can compare architecture as the structure of your house and design patterns are the way in which your different rooms are designed like your kitchen, like your living room, like your study room and also how the objects inside your different rooms are interacting with each other that is basically defined in the similar way with the help of design patterns into the software system because there is a no use of having amazing house if your rooms are messy and this is the place where we all need to learn about software design patterns look at the diagram if your application is using MVVM architecture then inside this particular architecture you can use multiple design patterns and now you have the clarity what exactly is the relation between the software architecture and the software design patterns we are ready to move ahead to learn different design patterns and about the situations in which a particular design pattern is used. If we talk about types of design pattern, they are majorly divided into three categories. Number one is creational design pattern. Number two is structural design pattern. Number three is behavioral design pattern. Creational design patterns are purely dedicated to the instantation of your objects. That means how to create your objects so that they always remain flexible, efficient and reusable. In structural design patterns, you learn how to combine different objects, different classes to create bigger structure in your project so that your project structure will always remain efficient and flexible to the changes. In behavioral design pattern, you learn how to establish good communication between different objects and different classes. I am ending this super quick video with the initial introduction of the design patterns and soon we will resume this particular series with the help of strategy design pattern. Till then, stay tuned to our channel, stay motivated and keep learning with us. Thank you.